Hi, Mark Westcott's my name and once again I'm with Peter McNulty from McCullough Robertson, one of the leading law firms in Australia. Last week we talked about personal estate planning and what happens when people suffer what we call the deferral dilemma, the invincibility delusion where they keep putting things off and thinking they're immortal and so uh, they never get around to, to taking action in regard to their estate matters. This week I'd like to ask Peter about what happens from a business point of view and sometimes this is a more pressing issue where business owners just get too busy in regard to the day-to-day -day stuff, Peter, and, and, uh, and don't get round to uh, uh, they really suffer what we call the invincibility delusion, but uh, <clears throat> also there's a real risk of a business partner from hell, isn't there, with, uh, with estate planning and succession planning. Do you want to talk more sure. about that? Yes, Mark. It's, um, look, it's, it's, a, it's probably as big an issue as, as, as personal uh, planning and the need for personal planning uh, is our experience. Um, when people go into a business partnership, they're never really thinking about all the nasty things that can happen typically and they're really concentrating on getting on with the business and so we always recommend that clients have a partnership agreement regardless of what the structure is whether it's a company or they're really in a partnership the legal structure is irrelevant in a sense so they really need a, an agreement to record how what, what's going to happen in various situations and we, we also recommend that, uh, that there be a, an exit arrangement and an agreed arrangement in the case of exit and if possible insurance put in place for uh, an, in a buy-sell scenario in case something uh, happens to one of the partners. Um, the clients typically are all bulletproof, they're concentrating on, on the positive aspects of their business and not really thinking about the wheels falling off or someone getting ill. Uh, they think it's not going to happen to them. Um, you know insurance and death and all of that, that, that doesn't happen at that age. But there are one of the large life companies has done a, a study which found that a typical four partner business, there was a, a likelihood of one in four of some event happening to one of those partners before they reached 65. So I was a bit scared and a bit surprised by those Pretty numbers. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I thought, you know, probably a little bit in the same, not going to happen really. Uh, but with those sorts of numbers, it's a real issue and something they really do need to consider, I think. Mm. How many partners are there in McCullough Robertson? Uh, 40, 48, 49, so yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a big and, issue. Actually, we've done really well so far. We're way ahead of the odds now that I think of Because <laughs> we haven't Keep enjoying touch, good wood, health, touch wood, we haven't, <laughs> we haven't had those problems at all so far. But the consequences of, of, uh, of not having an arrangement in place, um, Murphy's Law is such that something if something happens to one of those partners, um, you will, and, and say one of the partners dies in a, in a, in a, uh, unexpectedly, um, then you will find a situation where the partners are effectively in partnership with that, that partner's spouse. And uh, it's amazing how often the other partners don't like the spouse and typically the feeling's very mutual. And then the lawyers become involved um, if because we have a situation where one of the partners in a small business has died, that's put real pressure on the, the operation of the business. So there's very rarely a pot of gold there to be able to pay out the, the deceased partner's spouse. The, once they get lawyers and accountants and others involved, uh, the number always goes up. Uh, they'll always be seeking a lot more than the others will be willing to pay or prepared to pay. And having a, a sleeping partner or, a, or a, 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 an inactive partner doesn't work because you've got the the people who are left doing all the work, um, the other person sitting there just expecting their share of the profits and they're not going to get them. So it's a, it's a recipe for disaster. So it's really something where the clients need to spend the time to get the, the uh, partnership agreement and a properly funded buy-sell agreement in place when the business is set up at the beginning because it'll save a lot of grief later on. Thanks, Pete. Look forward to talking to you next week.